寂しい」Welcome to Frightened Female. This is Crystal.、Uh, today's story happened to yours truly just this morning within the span of about 10 minutes.、Uh, with my husband as witness, we experienced yet again another creepy occurrence. And of course, I had to make a video and share it.、Uh, why freaky things always happen to us, I haven't the foggiest idea.、Um, but with that, I'll give you our latest true story. Let's begin. So, each and every day, my husband and I walk our two dogs,、uh, Salsa and Hana, three different times. So, once in the morning, once in the afternoon, and once after dinner before bed. And seeing as they don't have a dog door, they tend to get cooped up in the apartment. So, we really don't have a choice but to take them out as often as possible. So, we knew that today's temperature would reach 117 degrees. Very hot. And、so, we figured that the earlier we walked them, the cooler it would be before extreme heat reached us. We can't last more than 10 minutes outside in the afternoon, it's too dangerous for the animals. So, anyways, we headed out this morning and all seemed normal. I walk Hana and he walks Salsa. Hana, by the way, is half Chihuahua, half Pitbull. So, I call her a Chibull. She's really, really strong, just pure muscle. And she loves to bark at anything with a pulse, especially our daily dose of bird chasing. She is addicted to launching herself at birds. And here in Arizona, there are these flocks of blackbirds that hang out up in the trees, but then they fly down in small groups to look for bugs or drink from a street puddle. So every time Hana sees these birds, She begins barking and leaping, and sometimes it's two to three feet in the air. It's pretty chaotic, and thank God for her harness. So I'm always pulling on the leash and telling her no, but she hasn't stopped once since the day we came here. It's just constant bird chaos. And of course, they split apart and fly away when they see our dog running toward them, and she just smiles with her tongue hanging out. And I think she enjoys ruffling their feathers, no pun intended, but I truly think that she'd never actually hurt one of them. So here is the bizarre, ironic statement that I made to my husband as we passed the first part of our walk. I looked over to him and said, I wonder what Hana would do if the birds never flew away. You know, if they just sat there as she came charging. You think she'd hurt them? So my husband shook his head. No, I don't think so, he said. She'd probably do nothing. You know how she is all bark and no bite, as he likes to put it. Yeah, you're probably right. Now remember that I said that. Very important to the story. So we walked around a few more buildings in the complex, and both of our dogs did their business in their same usual spot, and we cleaned up after them. And as we went around the corner of the last building, and we call it the alleyway, Because it's one long stretch of sidewalk and grass next to a tall brick wall that blocks the main road from us. And what do I see? A bird, a single black bird, all by itself, sitting in the grass. Oh, great, I said to myself, here we go again. And so I'm waiting any second now for Hana to catch a glimpse of it and do her normal barking and attack. But she didn't. She actually froze and backed up. Both of our dogs did. So my husband and I inched closer. We noticed that the bird wasn't moving. We looked at each other like, What the? Is he dead? I don't know. He walked over and nudged it with his foot slightly, and it didn't move. So he leaned in and stared really close at it for about 30 seconds. It's not even breathing, he said. A dead bird standing. I had never seen that in my life. It wasn't even crouching down like birds do. It was standing, frozen, like it was just taken out of a freezer or something. 
then the scariest feeling just rushed over me. I can't describe it. A voice was screaming inside my head for both of us to turn it around and go back the way we came. So my husband agreed and I held on to both dog leashes as he remembered that he had a cell phone in his pocket to capture this very picture of the bird. And it was just moments later, as soon as he turned around to walk toward me, that's when we stepped into what felt like a Hitchcock movie. We became the victims of dive bombing. Blackbirds from the trees surrounding were shooting down at us, one after another, diving down at our heads and at the dogs. So I began screaming, and we went into panic mode. In sequence, without even speaking, we both swooped up each dog in our arms as the swarm was still attacking us. It literally felt like a scene out of the 1963 film, The Birds, and it was petrifying. And we ran, we ran so fast and it happened so quickly, we didn't set down the dogs until we were totally clear from the area. We kind of paused to catch our breath and I looked up at him and said, what was I just talking about five minutes ago with you? So my husband paused. Oh my God, he said. You asked me what Hannah would do if she saw a motionless bird and didn't move if she approached it. Well, I guess my question was answered. And we were right. Our dog didn't attack. Ironically, we became the victims. The whole sequence of events was beyond eerie, almost omen-like. I think we'll skip the alley next time around. What's funny is I used to make fun of that scenario in the movie The Birds. I'd always say to myself, ooh, you know, a bunch of birds. How scary could that really be? I mean, more stupid than anything. Well, newsflash. It's scary as hell, especially when it happens to you. So please like and subscribe to my new channel. Leave a comment. Leave a thumbs up. If you have a true scary story of your own that you'd like to share, please see the description box below. Most importantly, please be safe. Be aware of your surroundings. And remember to always lock your door. Scary later.